Hi there, I'm Mitchell from Brain Fart Studio, and this is my game Heart Song. I made it over two weeks for GDKO Round 3, and I got a lot of positive feedback on the visual design and the general aesthetics. It's done with post-processing and is surprisingly easy to do. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up post-processing in Unity. So let's get started. Here I've got an empty Unity project with two small changes. I've adjusted the background of the camera to be completely black, and I've added in a white square so that we can see the post-processing effects later. First, you'll need to add the post-processing package to your Unity project. To do this, click Window, Package Manager, and on the Package Manager window, scroll down to Post-Processing. Click it and hit Install. Once it's finished, close the Package Manager panel. Next, create a post-processing profile. In the Project panel, right-click, select Create, then Post-Processing Profile. Rename it to whatever you want. I'm going to use PP Profile because I think it's descriptive and it's funny. This step is optional, but I recommend doing it. If you ever want to reuse the effect in the future, this is going to make it much easier. Next, create the post-processing volume. This is going to be the actual game object and component that will hold the profile we just created. In the Hierarchy panel, right-click and create an empty game object. I'm going to name it PP Volume. Select this new game object and add component. Search for post, and you should see these three options come up. Click post processing volume. On this new component, make sure is global is checked and drag the profile we just created into the profile field. And I commented that the profile was optional. This is why. You can create a new profile right here but I still prefer to keep the profile separate for its reusability. The last thing you want to do on the volume is create a specific layer. Under the layer selector, click add layer and add a new layer called post processing. Click back onto your volume and set the new layer to this post processing layer we just created. Now we need to take the volume we just created and assign it to the main camera. So select the main camera in the hierarchy and click Add Component. Search for Post again. This time we're going to select Post Processing Layer. Under the Volume Blending Layer, right here, you'll see this Layer panel. And we are going to click and select the Post Processing Layer that we assigned to the volume. Now comes the fun part, adding all the post-processing effects. So click onto the profile that you created in the project panel to open it in the inspector. Click Add Effect, Unity, and then choose the effects you want to add. You can see there's a handful of effects to play with, and I'll leave it to you to explore each of them. For now, we're just going to add Bloom. You can see Bloom has been added to the list of overrides, but none of the options are selected. If you select Intensity and set it to 5, you can see right away that it gives it kind of a soft glow effect. And that's it. In less than 5 minutes, you've successfully added post-processing effects into your Unity game. It's really easy to do, and it can make a huge difference in the visual quality of your game. I'll leave it up to you to explore all the different effects. But if you'd like to see me go more in-depth into all the different effects, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.